Hi, this is Ken Nelson with SciTools. In my last video, we built this dependency graph, dividing Git source code into code we wanted to keep and code we wanted to deprecate. In particular, a regex package and an SHA-256 package that we imagined we didn't want to use. Now, we used this graph to tell our boss what the implications of this deprecation were. And now let's imagine that the boss came back and said, that's a lot of work. We can't really devote a lot of time to doing that now. Can we at least stop digging the hole and stop adding dependencies to these two deprecated libraries? The answer is yes. And understand, we can definitely keep track of that. And the first step is to set up dependency rules in CodeCheck. So we're going to go to the Checks menu and configure dependency checks. Now we're going to pick uh, the deprecated architecture. We're going to go down and, and find the rule that says deprecated can't be depended on by, and I'm going to pick another architecture there. I'm going to basically say everything but deprecated. So all the other source. And so then I'm going to save and run that, and I immediately know that I've got 395. The current status of our dependence on these two libraries is 395 lines of code that we've got to go clean up. Let's try and make it not grow to 396. To do that, we're going to enable a, a feature and understand that checks the rules every time you hit save. To do that, I'm going to go to checks, select checks, go down to dependency checks, and I'm going to pick the one we just built. I'm going to hit close. That's it. Super simple. Now, anytime I go into code and I make a change, if I inject a dependency that violates this rule, I'm going to little, get a little red squiggle where I did it, and over here in the gutter, I'm going to get a warning that says, you violated the dependency rule that you cannot depend on deprecated code. I hope you find that helpful. Let us know if you need help setting it up or have any other questions. Support at SciTools.com. We love questions. We try to give answers within an hour during working hours, and that would be either a plan for how we're going to get you an answer or the answer. Uh, anyway, we love questions. Hit us up, and thanks for watching.